Donald Trump is exporting his ideology to Canada, his supporters, and donors are helping the Freedom Convoy. Trump is himself voicing support for Canadian conservatives. This marks the beginning of a conservative revolution in Canada. Let me explain how. And welcome. You watching TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Atul Mishra. Let's begin. Former President Donald Trump is an inspiration for Americans and even people around the world. In India, for example, Donald Trump has many fans. India, you see, is a vibrant, mature and secure democracy. Canada, on the other hand, is an insecure, fragile and authoritarian democracy. Don't believe me? Well, Justin Trudeau, the blue-eyed boy of liberals around the world, has just promulgated an emergency and martial law in Canada. This gives his government unfettered power to muzzle the free voices of protesters belonging to the Freedom Convoy while throwing them all behind the bars. But the conservatives of Canada are hardly going to be shoved around by Trudeau's police. Canadian conservatives have risen and there is no stopping them now. Guess who they are taking their inspiration from? The former president of the United States, the inimitable Donald Trump. Earlier this month, Donald Trump had joined the chorus in support of the Freedom Convoy and Canadian truckers. He lambasted Justin Trudeau's brutal regime, saying, the Freedom Convoy is peacefully protesting the harsh policies of far-left lunatic Justin Trudeau, who has destroyed Canada with insane COVID mandates. Hey, it's me, Atul. I started this channel. We started small, we went big. Suddenly, the whitey police was after us. We dodged and ducked, but the algos got us really bad. So we designed our own app. It's free. We never asked for money, we never will. But the droid called us too sensitive and blocked us. We still have an Apple app. Join us and fast, because if you don't, we will cease to exist. Check out the link in the description. Donald Trump has become an icon for Canadian conservatives. You see, the problem with Canada's conservative party is that it has never really been able to become the voice of patriotic and freedom-loving Canadians. The conservative party has no agenda, is riddled with factionalism and is simply incoherent. Until recently, it was led by a man called Aaron O'Toole, who let's just say is a disaster in more ways than one. He was recently sacked as the Conservative Party's leader for flip-flopping on issues of concern. As I said, the Conservative Party is incoherent. The thing with Canadian citizens who identify themselves as conservatives is that they are no longer willing to be led by an incoherent party. So they decided to adopt Donald Trump as an inspiration. It is therefore not surprising to see protesters from the Freedom Convoy carrying pictures of Donald Trump and calling out his name. He has become a symbol for Canadian conservatives who are sick and tired of Trudeau's far-left domestic policies. Donald Trump is returning the favor. He's now exporting American conservatism to Canada. Reportedly, a number of American conservatives are taking part in Freedom Convoy protests, while many Trump supporters are funding the movement. Speaking to Fox Network, Trump even said, I see they have Trump signs all over the place and I'm proud that they do. But that's what happens. You can push people so far and our country is a tinderbox too. Don't kid yourself. And there are plenty of people from our country up there right now. Meanwhile, businessman Mike Lindell, a staunch Donald Trump supporter, was stopped by Canadian authorities on his way from the United States to join the Freedom Convoy in Ottawa. This shows how Donald Trump and his supporters are actively looking to provide all support needed to the Freedom Convoy. This happens when Justin Trudeau's government dons a fascist cap and tries to stop such aid from reaching the protesters. Sooner or later, the Conservative Party of Canada will have to toe Donald Trump's line. It has been behaving like a headless chicken for far too long. Now, with Trump setting the agenda for 
Canadian patriots. The conservative movement in the North American country, for sure, will witness an upswing. Trump's ideology is now crossing the United States borders.